Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. The choices for the individualized Oracle offering, what matters most? You get to create you. Yes, you can. Today we'll be calling on the Psychic Tarot Oracle as offered by John Holland as well as asking for supporting messages from the Ascended Masters Oracle through Doreen Virtue. This time I'll open with the invocation. You can, if you'd like, use this time to set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth. We are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth that are ready, thank you, and willing to understand. And so it is. We'll begin here. What matters most? Mm. Number six. Memories of love. And emotions. You may find yourself walking down memory lane at this time. This nostalgic card could indicate that an old friend or acquaintance from the past may step back into your life. Or it could even resurrect loving images from days gone by. Does this person, these happy forgotten moments, or those innocent childhood memories encourage you to recall and welcome the energy of love? Is there a message or lesson from these fond re recollections that could benefit you in your present life? The number six card relates to support dedication, unity, and a need for balance in the area of emotions and love. Your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past, but to use the inspiration and joy from that time to assist you in the here and now. And the Ascended Master message and support. Find the blessing in your current situation. Krishna. Every situation offers opportunities to grow and learn. When we curse a situation, we block its energy flow and things fester and grow worse. In contrast, as you recognize the blessings within your current situation, supportive and healing energy flows to you. This card comes to you because there's an unrecognized blessing within your current situation. It could be something that you've learned or gained. Recognize the blessing to accelerate the healing and manifestation that's trying to come to you. And here you get to create you. We have the number three in red. which is the physical. Recognition and reward. 
A reward for a job well done is what this card represents. It's a time of recognition for a completed project, hard work, skill, expertise, and craftsmanship. But don't forget to honor and pay homage to yourself. Pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. This card also comes forth to represent a family or a group of people coming together, all of whom are aiming and striving toward a common goal. Accept the help that's being offered. More possibilities are in the works, so be sure to lay a solid foundation from your past achievements, and this will help you be ready for the next opportunity. In addition, this card is a reminder to take care of your physical body. After all, it's what carries your soul around in this material world. And the Ascended Master's message in support of that <laughs> is number, oh, focus upon your strengths with Apollo. This card reminds you to focus upon your strengths and not upon any perceived weakness. Your strengths could include your loving heart, pure intention, people skills, hobbies, or something that you excel in. Even if your talent still needs polishing, these are strengths and assets. The more you bless and appreciate your strengths, the stronger they'll grow. If you focus upon so-called weaknesses, they will grow. This card comes to you as a reminder of the importance of viewing yourself with compassion and love. Anytime you find yourself thinking or feeling poorly about yourself, focus on your strengths instead. And here in the yes you can position, we have number seven on emotions. Choose wisely. This card comes forth when you have a vision or goal that you want to achieve, but too many choices, scattered energies, and unrealistic expectations prevent you from attaining what you desire. Opportunities are bountiful, but there's a decision to be made at this time. This card reminds you that the options you have around you may appear to have all the influence and power but in reality, you're in control and responsible for all the choices you make. Take time to think, analyze, and carefully look at the different possibilities that are in front of you. Don't be hasty just because you feel pressured, and don't be influenced by people who have no idea, expertise, or education in the area of your choices. A focused, wise decision far outweighs one made emotionally or in desperation. And the Ascended Master's message in support is the spiritual law of attraction. Melchizedek. The situation you're inquiring about has come to you via the law of spiritual the spiritual law of attraction. You've attracted certain people or situations because they mirror your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. In the same way, people and situations that you once found desirable are now moving out of your life as you've shifted your energy through your spiritual path. Like attracts like means that everything and everyone that you draw into your life is similar to your thought patterns. If you want to change what or who you attract, hold more positive, loving, and joyful thoughts. The Ascended Masters and Angels can help you with this shift. Thank you for joining me today. Please take these messages as they resonate within you and allow them to move you further along into your day.
Be well. Know you are loved. I'll join you again tomorrow.